everyone, my name is Shanika Grimes. I am a local artist. I paint large scale paintings and murals in a variety of themes. I'm also a very detailed portrait painter and I have taught um, lessons from for adults and kids for many years here in Barbados. I also make handcrafted bags under my brand, Artist Made Barbados, and I have a studio in St. James that I function out of. So I look forward to sharing with you guys today's lesson, which is going to be an acrylic painting of a fish. And I hope you guys, if you don't have paint, you can swap out the paint colors in crayon. And we're going to go through the drawing and shaping. It's about the same in pencil as it would be in paint. And we're going to make a quick drawing today and painting of a fish. So I look forward to you guys trying it out and show us your results. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> We're going to put a fish looking like he's very curious about this dolphin over here because this is a very friendly, whimsical world. We're going to put this fish here. Let me show you my photographic reference. I do like to work with photographic references. We're going to put him just in front of the dolphin right there. Let me adjust the camera. And you can just give yours a nice blue, light blue background since the fish is going to be dark blue. Let's get started with the shape. Okay, so the colors I have out are blue, yellow, um, white, and some gray, just in case. So I'm going to start with a blue outline. So the general shape is an oval, but I want the front of my oval to have a little flatness to it. So just a little diagonal line. And then I'm gonna curve around the rest of my oval and the far end, the right end of my oval is going to be a little bit pointy because we're going into the fish's tail. All right, I'm doing this in blue because the fish is largely blue. And if you want to be more careful than I'm being, you can add, um, use a pencil where you get the chance to erase. I just made just down here a little bit rounder for the fish's, the mouth of the fish. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's great English. And then I'm going to switch to um, black paint for the outline of the tail. Actually, wait. let us do yellow and then the black outline. So I'm just going to draw the tail in a yellow triangle. And let that sit for a bit. I'm going to do the eye in a little yellow circle. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fill in the rest of the fish blue. Fill in everything blue around the eye. And then we're gonna let that dry and come back and layer. The beauty of acrylic paint is really your ability to layer precisely. Got a little yellow in my blue, but that's all right. We will refine as we go forward. So that's it for now. Let's give it a pause for you guys to finish filling in and for it to dry. Okay, so it is not completely dry, but it's dry enough that we can continue working. So what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna add a little bit of black with a smaller brush for the outline of the tail. So let's just give that some black. on either side cool and then there's a black fin it looks like just under the body of the fish so we just want to draw in that fin i'm going to mark where it starts right here we're going to curve and go back to the tail all right he has like a little row of little fin lines at the top from his head so let's do a diagonal line right about here and we're going to continue with space diagonal lines all the way across the top of his body. They're going to be short. Good. Now from the eye, he has a really cool shape. Let's draw the outline. I'm going to go up. Pull that back to the tail. Then it's almost parallel the next shape. So there's a space, but we're going to duplicate that shape with a space between it all the way back to the tail. You can even fill it in. 
good. You can also know from here, there's a little tiny bit of black under the eye. Put that in. And for his gill, I think that's what this is called. There's one distinct gill right here. And then about midway down this stripe, we're gonna draw almost like a little oval shape. So we can use the top line to help us with our oval. Get nice, thick. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line from the right side of the oval all the way back to the tail and fill. So we have our little dory looking fish coming along quite nicely. He has a little fin coming out here. So I'm just going to draw another diagonal line to start it. And then the little tiny fin. It's almost like a little triangle. I just give it some brush strokes so it's not too boxy. So it has some flow to it. So with that, let's give our blue another coat. So I'm going to switch back brushes. I do want a slightly smaller brush than I started with. It's fine brush. This looks pretty okay. And into blue paint. And I'm going to go around the blue with a second coat. You can make yours as smooth as you want. My painting is pretty large scale, so it works well with a little bit of texture. Since it's a mural, it's made to be viewed from a little ways off. So a little bit of texture might work for me, but for you, if you're working on a smaller scale like a paper, you might want to make it a little bit smoother even. I'm just going back over all of my blues. Okay, in the center of the eye, we have a little eyeball. So in the center of the yellow, I'm going to draw an inner circle. That's in black paint. Alright, and I'm going to go to a super tiny brush to make that outline on my eyeball a little bit more refined. See how it's coming together, refinement certainly does a lot for your painting. Alright, and then the fish has a tiny little mouth, so I'm going to draw in here from the first little bump I had. I want to look like he's smiling, even though he doesn't look like he's smiling in the picture. And I'm going to add some tiny points to the edge of the gills, so they're gradually getting a little tinier. And we can smooth over our black. All of our black with a nice second coat to make dory <laughs> oh or our dory type fish look a little bit more smooth and finished and happy okay I'm gonna go over all the areas that I had in black with a second coat I don't want to make this thin too flat so I'm just gonna bring a little bit of black where it joins onto the fish and leave the edge of it faded I went over all of my black and then I want to sharpen the black edge here at the top. Where I do these diagonal lines, I'm just going to go over the top. It doesn't have to be a smooth line because we imagine the fin isn't perfectly straight. So we're just going to go across horizontally till the edge of that fin. And I feel like we need one more coat of the blue. So I'm going to do that. Again, go back to your blue paint, smooth out that blue a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat because you know, fish, fish and their scale will catch some light. And as I'm painting, I'm refining whatever edge I'm going around. Feel free to send us via email some pictures of your work. We want to see your progress and how you're growing and learning. We do love to see student feedback, how the lesson worked for you. And I'm going to use that gray I was talking about a little bit earlier from 
the list of colors I told you we were working with. It's like a kind of mediumish gray. Ooh, this brush is a bit big, but I can work it. But if you need to switch to a smaller brush, do so. And I'm just going to put a little bit of gray on the tip of his fin. And then this under fin here, just next to the body, I'm going to put a little bit of gray between the black and the blue. That's lovely. There's a little bit of yellow. It's very colorful. On this tiny fin right here. So I'm just going to grab a dot of yellow and add it on right there. Got a little bit of water. I don't want it to drip, so use my finger to move that away. I'm going to refine the yellow that I had in the eye with this same small brush. Ooh, water again. Make sure the brush doesn't have too much water in it or you'll get dripping. Sometimes I do forget. I'm going to have to go back over my black too because it was a little bit wet. So let's give that some dry time and come back to it. I'm going to add a few strokes of white to the tail to highlight it. So they're going kind of in the same shape as the tail, leaning diagonally this way, then more straight in the center, and then diagonally the other way. Right. So we got to wait on the eye to dry. And while we're waiting on that, he does have like some little black freckles on his face just here by the front of his face. So I'm just gonna use my brush and make some little freckles on his cute little face. And I just have to wait for to put the corrections on the eye. So let me wait for that. Okay, so let's hold on one sec, guys. Okay, let's see how dry that is. We're gonna go back to our yellow. And we're trying to layer around this yellow nice and tight. Okay, it's dry enough, great. And there were a few dots on his face that were yellow as well. Just a little bit. And let's go back to the black. To really sharpen his eyeball. Ooh. I like to leave it a little light on one side so it doesn't look too flat. So I left it like kind of close to the top. Just shaping out any little errors I see. Any things I think can be a little bit nicer. And let's add a few little highlights of white paint. Very thin or very brushy. So I put my brush in the paint and then I kind of wiped it on the side of the tray. And I also wiped it on the piece of paper I'm referencing. So that I only have a little bit. So I'm going to add a little highlight to the front of his face. Smooth out with my finger a little bit. See right here by his gill because I know that might be sticking out a little bit more. And then against his little fat body here now. And on his little back strip. Just a little watery highlight. Alright, I think he's pretty done. He looks so cute. Let's just add a little bit more blue to sharpen some little weaknesses I see here. <laughs> the more you come back and fix, 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 the stronger your painting will look. So fix 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 and just like that in 15 minutes you painted or less or more if you took time to pause and check back that's fine you painted your own little dory type of fish and we love her I add a little bit of white sorry blue to soften the edge of where my um, thin met the body it was a bit sharp just did that so naturally and I think that she looks really cute and we'll look at how she's working in the bigger picture remember for yours you can just do this on a piece of paper so she's really large and zoomed in like this right so that's all you need but for me I was working on something larger so here's how she's working with her little dolphin friends <laughs> 
Ooh, I have some other things to finish here, but I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye, keep painting.